to Moomoo Math and how to find the greatest common factor, the GCF, using the latter method. The greatest common factor, also called the greatest common denominator and the highest common factor or of two or more whole numbers, is the largest whole number that divides evenly into each of the numbers. And the latter method is just one way. You can use a factor tree or this latter method. So let's go ahead and work a couple of examples. Okay, first up we have 40 and 24 and you want to find the greatest common factor or the greatest common denominator which is the number that divides evenly into both of these. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to rewrite them over here so we can see it, is we have 40 and 24 and you need to ask what number divides evenly into both of these. And this is where it's nice if you know your division rules. I'll leave a link for a video I created for those. Uh, but if worse comes to worse, you can just use 2. It will work out properly. So in that case, I know that um, 2 goes into both of these. 2 goes into 40 20 times, and 2 goes into uh, 24 12 times. I then draw a line underneath it like I did with the first numbers. And you can see it kind of looks like a ladder. And you repeat the process. What number will divide evenly into 20 and 12? Well, I know, uh, again, let's go with 2. 2 goes into 20 10 times, and 2 goes into 12 6 times. Okay? So now I draw a line under this, and I ask myself one more time, what number will go evenly into 10 and 6? And again, 2 will do that, and that will be 5 and 3. Now, uh, I am down to two prime numbers. So what I will do is, to get the greatest common factor, I just multiply what is on the outside, and that is 2 times 2, which equals 4, times 2, which equals 8. So the greatest common factor of 40 and 24 is 8. Okay? So let's go now, ahead and again. work another one we have 65 and 120 so I'm gonna draw a line underneath and I know that because they divide end in either a 5 or a 0 they're both divisible 5 by 5 so 5 goes into 65 5 goes into 6 1 and then 5 goes into it will be 13 and then 5 goes into 120 that will be 2 with 20 left over, that will be 24. I will draw a line underneath. And now at this time, they, there is not a number that will go into both 13 and 24. So the greatest common factor of 65 and 20 is GCF equals 5. Okay. Let's work one final one using the ladder method. And so here we go. Okay, 36 and 78, I'll draw a line underneath. Okay, I know that the, the rule is for threes, if you add the two numbers together, 6 plus 3 is 9, and then this is 15, so I know that 3 will go into 36 and 78, because if you total the numbers and it's divisible by 3, then it's divisible by 3. So 3 will go into 36 two times, and 3 will go into 78 one with one left over and then we have a 16 so I'll draw a line so 3 goes into 78 16 times and now I'll just use a 2 here because I know 2 goes into 12 6 times and 16 8 times draw a line underneath I can use 2 again 2 will go into 6 3 2 will go into 8 4 okay I'm now down to new two numbers that I know we cannot uh, find a number that will divide into both 3 and 4. So f to find the greatest common factor, I just multiply 3 times 2 times 2. So I'll rewrite this. 3 times 2 is equal to 6 times 2 is equal to 12. So the greatest common factor will be 12. Hope that helps with finding the greatest common factor. Using the latter method, Moomoo Math uploads a new math video every day.